What is going on YouTube? Fascinating graveyard. And today we are at the Mount Pleasant Cemetery here in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, right outside of Charleston. And today we are here to visit the grave of Melanie Thornton. She was one half of the Euro dance group La Bouche. Uh, pretty good music, if I do say so myself. Music that I grew up listening to on the radio when I was a kid. So Melanie was born May 13th, 1967 here in the Charleston, South Carolina area. And as a little girl, I guess her parents noticed that she loved to sing. And when she was about six years old, uh, they got her some singing lessons. And of course, she had to take piano lessons, because that's always a good idea. If you're a good singer, you want some kind of a good musical background. And as she uh, grew up singing, uh, graduated high school, uh, she went to college. And to help support her going to school, going to college, uh, on the weekends, uh, she would sing for different groups and bands uh, in and around the, I believe, Macon, Georgia area. She'd make a couple bucks, but uh, it was basically not much. She was barely getting by. I guess you would call that uh, she was a starving student, if you will. So in February of 1991, she went out to Germany. Uh, her sister lived there because her sister was married to uh, an American who was a soldier, and he was based out there. And I want to say that Melanie had German citizenship. Uh, she speaks German quite well if you look at uh, interviews that she's done on YouTube. And she was very, very popular there in Germany. So she's going over there, hanging out. And her uncle, who was a singer himself, he was telling her, you know, she's probably sitting around like on the couch or whatever. He's like, hey, you should start singing out here. You could make really good money. You could make three times as much as you did in the United States. Even on a bad day, you'll still walk out with $150 in your pocket. So she started doing that. She hit the club scene. Uh, she would make a couple bucks here and there. A lot of those you know, smaller Euro dance groups would hire her to sing on their tracks. And she became quite popular over there. So... One of the uh, songs that she was on was noticed by Frank Farian. Of course, Frank Farian, the same guy who brought uh, Rob and Fab together to make Milli Vanilli. And uh, he says, okay, hey, uh, you're a really good singer. <laughs> we're going to we're gonna kind of do something similar. I'm assuming that's what he said. So he matched her up with this uh, rapper, I believe a German rapper named Lane McRae. And so they match them up together and they hit the studio and they start, uh, you know, producing music. And uh, LaBouche was uh, almost an instant hit. Uh, they were very, very, very popular. They were more popular in Europe, uh, particularly in Germany, than they were in the United States. But in the United States, they were still very, very uh, popular. You'll know um, their two big hits is... Uh, Sweet Dreams, and uh, I think the other one was called uh, Wanna Be My Lover. Ah, uh, yeah, hey, wanna be my lover. Ah, uh, yeah, hey, wanna be my lover. Yep, yep, guys. This is going to be a constant thing on this channel. Yep, as long as I'm not allowed to play their music so you guys can know what I'm talking about, I will be singing, whether you like it or not. So deal with it. Anyways, so their two albums were Sweet Dreams and S.O.S. And they went on to perform. They didn't have uh, other big hits such as those two. Because those two hits were, they were very popular all over the world. So in 2000, Melanie, she leaves LaBouche and she starts a solo career. And she had a, a couple uh, decent hits on her solo um, stuff. Uh, one of them was like... Uh, I think it was called Ooh La La uh, Something, something I, I forgot the song I haven't listened to it in a very, very long time A very, very talented 
a woman to say the least. And I'm sure, you know, I'll put uh, her music uh, in the description box so you guys can check it out. And uh, sadly, on November 24th, 2001, uh, Melanie, who had just, uh, she was do promoting her latest album, and she went on a plane trip to Zurich, Switzerland. She was on flight 3597 Cross Air. There were 28 passengers and five crew members. And when they were about, I think an hour into the flight, the pilots had radioed the airport in Zurich, Switzerland, where they were supposed to land. And they had radioed that, you know, the, the visibility was very bad because the clouds were very, very low. And uh, tragically, the plane crashed into uh, a forest. And 24 people on that flight uh, died. Uh, sadly, Melanie here was one of them. Coincidentally enough, uh, on that plane also uh, was another, uh, some members of another uh, Euro dance band called Passion Fruit, and two members of that group died as well. Natalie Van Hettend and uh, Maria Serrano Serrano. The other uh, third member of that band, uh, they survived. I believe there was um, seven survivors altogether. And, you know, when I do these videos, uh, I, I know for a fact that people aren't going to know. I know they're going to know this woman's music, but they're not going to know uh, that she died. You know, a lot of people, when you listen to music and then, you know, a lot of bands, they just kind of fade away because, you know, they had one or two big hits and that was it. But no, this lady was going to continue to be a, a very successful uh, singer and artist and her being bilingual she spoke uh, English and German um, that's crossover appeal and I, I suspect that you know she was one you know mega hit away from being a superstar and she would have eventually had gotten it she just needed that right song you know and uh, tragically uh, that opportunity was uh taken away so rest in peace to uh, Melanie Janine Thornton uh, her music will always live on and, and will live on in the group LaBouche I think LaBouche uh, had uh, replaced uh, Melanie with another singer so they might still uh, perform uh, out there somewhere in the uh, world anyways guys uh, I am Lamont. My channel is Fascinating Graveyard. I always appreciate uh, if you would subscribe, hit that notification bell. It will uh, tell you when I upload and uh, leave a comment below. Um, what graves do you suggest that I do? Let me know. Um, I'm open. I'm game. Anyways, I will see you on the next vlog. Peace out.